up guys man y'all know what it is man it's your boy Sid back again with another video man and this is going to be a car video of course I have with me the BMW the 2024 BMW i4 this is the 40 drive by the way well the drive 40 by the way so this all electric all electric vehicle super excited to have it super excited to you know be driving it for a couple days man so before I actually hop into talking about the vehicle let me go ahead and wish everybody a happy new year man I hope you guys have plans I hope you guys have goals I hope you guys have things you want to strive for in the 2024 four season man i hope you're successful in all of those things hey man i'm having a hard time talking in this video right now but we're gonna go ahead and hop straight into it man so y'all know what i do when it comes to the cars all i do is just show y'all a little bit of the features and then i'll show y'all how the vehicle looks this is going to be a do i want to buy that car if you want to buy a car come to my channel because i'm just going to talk good stuff about it man just good stuff as you guys can see we're sitting in the interior it's all black we got the sunroof that's open right now giving us a little bit of light coming from the top but it is tinted so you don't have to really worry about none of that sun beaming down on your head man so i really do like that sunroof i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the outside of the vehicle do a whole walk around talk about how i feel about the actual style of the vehicle and then i'm gonna bring you guys inside and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that's going on on the inside but before we actually do that make sure you like comment and subscribe i appreciate all the love and the support from you guys happy new year man happy new year man <laughs> let's get it bro let's hop straight into it man i'm wasting time i'm wasting all right, let's get it, y'all. So let's do a whole little walkthrough. You feel me? Let's start with the front end, of course. Let's start with the front end. So we're going to go ahead and just look from the front, man. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I don't like Texas because I think they require to have that front license plate. I don't like that, man. Like, this would be much cleaner without that front license plate. But, of course, you don't have an actual grill here because everything is electric. Of course, BMW have the nice headlights. Got the air vents. Got the air currents coming through here. You feel me? The side vents. These are going to be some nice aero wheels. Nice little rims. Ain't nothing too crazy about it. Not too crazy. Look, if you pay attention on these BMWs, it's going to have... It's how you see this blue outline around the actual emblem. Just know that thing all electric, man. Then we go ahead and do the side profile of the actual vehicle. Now, when we come to the side profile, I really like these low profile doors, dude. These handles, I mean, I do like these low profile handles. When you just walk up to it, that locks it, hit, mirror goes in, and then you come to the door again, and unlocks it, mirror comes out. You hold it to unlock all doors. Smooth, man, and look, frameless glass, bro. Look, frameless, frameless, man, frameless, man. Looks beautiful, man, looks beautiful. Then if I, of course, come down to the back, no exhaust pipes, cause you don't need them, right? We got that BMW i4. Of course, that's the E-Drive 40. I think I just said Drive 40 or 40 Drive or something like that. But the back actually looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. With no exhaust pipes, I mean, it kind of looks a little lame, cause you know, it's BMW, but it looks pretty good though. Of course, look at those tail lights. Tail lights look nice. And just to let you guys know as well, this is, a hatchback so that <laughs> that trunk is going to open automatically for you look at that look at all this room back here bro you got mad room back here i don't even hop into this stuff in vehicles right but you got mad room back here man look at this you got your little net and everything you can let the seats down and of course if you want to go ahead and just close that again you can lock the door from back here or you can just go ahead and close that hatchback so it'll close by itself for all the moms out there you feel me and of course all of the dads that got kids you feel me I mean, if you're a dad, of course you got a kid. Now, I didn't touch, of course, on that air vent that we have right here in the front. That wraps all the way around right here to a nice, beautiful design, giving us that nice little strip all the way to the back, man. Dang, this car looks beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do one more walk around for you guys, just in case you didn't see it. Man, that thing looks good, man. Look at that front profile, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm going to cut a lot of this out, but Jesus this thing is beautiful. I hope there's no wind getting into this because, like I said, I'm recording this off my phone. Now, before I actually hop into the vehicle into the front, I'm going to go ahead and open this back real fast. <laughs> As you know, your boy see it. <laughs> he be sitting all the way back, you feel me? But nice little leg room up in here, though. If I mean, if I'm not sitting all the way back like this. But, yep, that's going to be a back seat. Nothing too crazy. You know, just regular, you know, let down the door. You can't unlock the doors or nothing back here. But not too crazy, not too crazy. Now we're going to go ahead and hop to that front. So, of course, man, this is how it looks once you get inside the vehicle, by the way. But, yeah, man, this is going to be how it looks. Got the stitching on the outside. Got the memory seating. That's how things look on the door panels. Nothing crazy, man. You got the speakers, nice leather. 
They did not go cheap on this vehicle. Of course, you got the soft plastic, it's plastic, it's plastic down here, you know, just in case if you hit something. And that's how you open that trunk. Yeah, nice. It looks good. Oh, before we even get into it, just to let you guys know, there's going to be your controls to actually remove your, I mean, to move your seats. And then you can move this back and forth as please. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back into the vehicle. That over there is going to control all of your lights. That blue button right there, you know what it means. Because if I hit it, it's going to turn the vehicle on. Did y'all hear a startup engine? Hell no, nah, because it is an electric vehicle. So let's just go ahead and actually talk about some of this stuff, man. So if I'm looking at the dash, man, that thing looks... It's clean, man. So look, I'm gonna actually go ahead and change some things real fast. Let's go into sport so y'all so you guys can see how oh I'm already in sport. <laughs> That's how it looks in sport. That's how it looks in comfort. And that's how it looks in eco. Did that the comfort change from eco? It did. It did, it did. My hand was shaking a little bit because I'm holding this phone with my left hand and on all the lefty. Look at the steering wheel. We got some controls on the steering wheel. Nothing crazy. The BMW logo, of course, with that blue ring around it. And then, of course, it's going to be a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. As you guys know, BMW make pretty thick steering wheels. So, yes, it feels good in the hands. And then you got some information on that dash as well. All of this is digital because everything is electric. We got 91% battery. Tells us the time, the speed, all that good stuff. And then, of course, over here, it lets us know how many miles we have left. And, man, it's a walking 47 degrees outside. I need to get back to Florida. We got our infotainment system. I'm not going to go through that because I don't know anything about that. Everything is going to be in the infotainment system other than the music that you can turn the volume up and down. Or you can just control, of course, your hazard lights or you get max air out of this as well. But everything else is in the infotainment system. As you guys know, that's what, you know, electric cars do. Come down here. Yeah, man, we got the portable charger down here. The wireless charger, I'm sorry, the charging pad. Then we got our two cup holders. This thing has a USB still, USB type A. And again, of course, you got your 12 volt lighter um, charger right there. But look, man, this thing come with a USB type C. Let's go, let's go. We got some space in here too. Not too much though, not too much. And then all of your controls right here, control your radio, control your infotainment system. How to put the car in park, drive, all that good stuff, the gear. And then you got your comfort, sport, and eco. Let's go. Look, so if I put it in sport, that's what pops up right there. I can change whether I want an individual if I'm going, you know, configure it if I wanted to. But we got our comfort plus. I wonder where that's at. They need to take me. And then, of course, we got our eco. You feel me? Eco-friendly. I'll keep that thing in sport so I can feel that electric power. Sunroof. Uh-huh. Basic. Uh-huh. Now, let me go ahead and turn the camera back around so y'all can kind of actually see the inside of the vehicle, how big it is. It's not super big, man. It's just a normal size sedan. If you know what the M5 is, this is basically the same size as the M5, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of details that I've noticed so far. Some things that I've noticed while driving the vehicle since I've had it. The battery on this thing goes down pretty fast. Cheap to charge, but it goes down pretty fast. I probably just spent about 16 bucks on it already. We're at 91%. When I got the vehicle, it was at 74 I charged it all the way to 100. It's a rental car, so it ain't my personal vehicle. So you, know, you ain't got to worry about charging it to 80. I need it at 100. I need to make sure that I'm... This is my first time renting an a electric vehicle. My first time driving an electric vehicle for multiple days. I've driven an electric vehicle multiple times, but this is my first time driving one for multiple days. So that's just a walkthrough around the vehicle. The battery, is ch it's cheap to charge, but what I've noticed is the highest range at 100% that I've received on here is 301. 301 miles at a full charge. Charge. Of course, that drops down super fast. Next thing you know, you at 90.0% and now I got 234 miles to go. So just be mindful of that as well when you're purchasing a vehicle. I don't know the pricing yet. I'm gonna go ahead and actually matter of fact, let me look at the pricing right now. I think the MRSP was like 79. It's different everywhere, man. It's different everywhere. So I see one on here right now. If we look at pricing. So pricing right now. Uh, for the 2024 BMW i4 M50 Grand Coupe is going for 79995 is it 80 grand right that's the MRSP of course you know you're gonna have your markups maybe markdowns depends because it's, it's an electric vehicle so just be mindful of that as well but beautiful vehicle it's fast man I tell you that it, it gets up but beautiful vehicle don't want to take too much of your time just want to go ahead and bring you guys this quick video of what I'm driving but I appreciate you guys appreciate the love appreciate the support make sure you like comment and subscribe stop playing with me bro stop playing with me happy holidays happy new year to y'all make sure you strive for greatness this year stop playing man stop playing with yourself this year do big things this year 
year, man. Don't sleep on yourself, man. Don't listen to people this year, man. Do you this year, man. Stop playing. Stop, stop, stop playing, man. But yeah, man, this is gonna be the 2024 BMW i4. What was that? I drive? I drive 40? Something like that in the back. Beautiful vehicle. If you want it, go get it. I appreciate the love. Peace.